Hello everyone! Do you want to quickly learn how to control Arduino from your phone or computer by using wireless Bluetooth connection? Then, do you want to learn how to send messages from your phone to your Arduino by using a Bluetooth connection? Then, do you want to learn the basics of how to code a communication interface between external devices and Arduino such that C++ code can interpret serial communication messages? Then, do you want to learn how to properly implement a circuit and connect all the parts and pins such that the communication can be established? If you want to do that, you're watching the correct video and you're at the right place. So, why is this project so important? Well, by learning how to establish a wireless communication between Arduino and external devices, such as, for example, a Raspberry Pi or your computer, you can start creating amazing Internet of Things projects that will integrate remote control, robotics, artificial intelligence, robot autonomy, etc. Here is the final learning outcome of this project. Over here, you can see my phone. It's an Android device, and this phone runs serial Bluetooth terminal. It's a simple program that can be used to send messages from your phone to the Arduino device. Over here, I will simply type a message. For example, how are you? And I need to end the message with a pound key. And I'll press send. And you can see that this message is being sent and I coded my Arduino such that it sends back the message and it's saying Arduino sends back how are you. Perfect. Over here you can see my computer and you can see my Arduino serial monitor. And you can clearly see the messages that are being sent from my mobile phone device. Before I start I would like to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as more than 300 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube page. And consequently I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot! Okay, let's start with explanations. Here's the basic wiring diagram for the HC06 module. Here's the HC06 module, and this module has four pins. The first pin, denoted by VCC, should be connected to the 5 volts of Arduino. The second pin, that is the ground pin or GND pin, should be connected to the ground of Arduino. Secondly, we have two communication pins. The pin TXD should be connected to the pin 2 of Arduino. And the last pin, that's called the RXD pin, should be connected to the pin 3 of Arduino by using this voltage divider. That is, we connect pin 3 of Arduino to the input of our voltage divider. And the output of the voltage divider, that is, this terminal over here, should be connected to the RXD pin of our module. The purpose of the voltage divider is to shift the Arduino pin 3 voltage from 5 volts to approximately 3.3 volts necessary for the RXD pin of the HC06. In my case, I'm using 1 kilo ohm and 2.2 kilo ohm resistors. And let's look into the formula for voltage shift. Here's the voltage that will be read by our module, that is, the voltage is from here to the ground. And by using the standard for formula for the voltage divider, we will see that this voltage is 3.43 volts or 3.44 volts. And that's approximately 3.3 volts necessary for this pin over here. Here are a few important comments. In my circuit and in my code, I selected the pins 2 and 3 of Arduino to read and send data to my module. However, you can select any other pin. For example, you can select pins from 2 to 13. You should not use the pins 0 and 1. Also, do not connect TXD to the analog pins. After you connect all the wires and after you add resistors, you need to enter the following Arduino code. And let's explain this code line by line. 
To establish the communication, I'm using this library called Software Serial. Then over here, I assign the ports or the pins TX and RX. Then I create BT Serial object by specifying TX and RX in the constructor. In my setup, I simply start my serial monitor with a baud rate of 9600 and I initialize the baud rate for communication protocol with BT Serial, 9600 baud rate. And note that for this module, 9600 is the standard communication baud rate. Later on, you can change this baud rate, you can increase it or decrease it. However, this is the standard baud rate that's loaded into the module firmware. Next, let's learn how to communicate with this device. The purpose of this code is to test if you can communicate with HC06 by sending the messages through the Arduino serial port and monitor and by reading the response of HC06 and we'll be plotting the response on our Arduino serial monitor. That is, I will not be using the mobile phone to establish the communication. First, I want to test the communication internally to see if I can send commands from Arduino and if I can get back the response. Let's see how this code works. Over here, I'm reading the inputs from my serial monitor. That is, I can type a message or a series of characters on my Arduino serial monitor. This piece of code will read the message character by character and it will send the message character by character to my device. Consequently, I need to use the function dot write. Then the Bluetooth device will interpret the message and if the message makes sense, it will send a reply. And over here, I read the reply from my device and I plot the reply to my serial monitor such that I can show it on the screen. Next, let's test this code. First, we need to upload the code. Then, we need to open the serial monitor. Here it is. And obviously, nothing happens. Nothing happens because there is no message. We need to create a message. And we will create a standard message. And this message is AT. And let's press enter and let's see what happens. Aha, the response is OK. So congratulations, you establish a link with your device. We got a reply from device OK. Let's check the firmware version. We can do that by typing AT plus capital version. So let's see the response. The response is Linvor version 1.8. Perfect. So we can see the version of our firmware. Over here, we can also set the baud rate. We can change the wireless pin. We can do other things such as change the name of the device, etc. However, since this is just an introductory video, we will not cover all these options. For the time being, it's very important to learn how to test the connection, and in our case, the connection works perfectly. Next, let's explain the code for communicating between a cell phone and our Arduino. First of all, we need to include the library. Then, we need to define the pins. After that, we create the BT serial object and we specify in the constructor TX and RX pins. In this setup function, we specify the baud rates. We specify the baud rate for the serial monitor and we specify the baud rate for our device. Over here, we define three strings and two characters that will be used to receive, interpret and send back the messages to our cell phone. So what is happening over here? This loop is running, running, running and running. Then this while loop will not be activated unless there is a message that's being sent from our phone to our device. That is, if there is no message, then this part over here, that is this function will return zero and the while loop will not be executed. 
once there is a message and once this message is received by our device then this function will return one and we step the message consists of a series of characters and we read the first character and we store it in this variable received character then note over here that we define the string total message and we initialize it as an empty string then we add this character to this string the string can be seen as a buffer or as an array of characters and we add the first character now we test if our character is equal to the end of message character and end of message character is this pound key given over here if it's not then okay do nothing do not execute this part but go go again over here and see if the serial is still available then read the next character then again add this character to our total message string and check if the, that received character is actually a pound key if it is a pound key then proceed create this print message character that is assigned the value from total message to print message and send set total message to an empty string since we want to reset the string then print the message to our serial port and create this string send back message and simply say Arduino sends back the message we receive and with this function btserial.print we send back message to our cell phone that's it the code is relatively simple and it works perfectly next let's learn how to download the app that will be used to send messages from our phone to our Arduino by using a Bluetooth connection open Google Play Store and you need to search for serial Bluetooth terminal serial Bluetooth terminal here is the app you need to click on install and the app will be installed once you install the app you need to click on open to open the app and here is the app it's a relatively simple but very useful app let's learn how to establish the connection first we need to enable Bluetooth connection on our phone for that purpose we need to click on this button over here and you will see a list of available Bluetooth devices over here you can see HC06 and that's our Bluetooth device consequently click on HC06 and you need to enter the pin the standard pin is one two three four and click on OK okay over here you can see the device is paired once we do that let's go back to our app that is open serial Bluetooth terminal then you need to click over here and you need to click on devices and over here you can see HC06 consequently click over here and you can see wow so we established the connection to our HC06 perfect let's test our connection by sending messages for example over here I will type a message for example hello and don't forget that you need to add the pound key to end the message here it is press this button and let's see reply okay we sent hello and Arduino sends back hello perfect let's do another message how are you for example how are you and again press the pound key okay Arduino sends back how are you perfect the connection works perfect.
here is my computer with Arduino serial monitor. And voila, I can see on my serial monitor the messages sent from my phone. Perfect, the code works perfectly.